Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I am going to tell you about chords of a circle and the theorems related to the chords of a circle. At the same time, I hope to explain some examples related to these theorems. So, before getting started, let's see what are the parts of a circle. When a circle is taken, the boundary of the circle is called the circumference of the circle. And then the midpoint is called its center. The line joining the midpoint and any point on the circle is called the radius of the circle and the line joining any two points on the circle through the center is called the diameter. If any two points of a circle is joined through a line, these lines are called chords. And remember, diameter is the longest chord of a circle. Let's move on to the first theorem. The first theorem states that the straight line joining the center of the circle to the midpoint of a chord is perpendicular to the chord. So here is a circle where O is the center and let AB be a chord where C is the midpoint of the chord AB. If I join OC like this, remember OC is perpendicular to AB according to the theorem. So we can say AB is perpendicular to OC. Let's move on to the converse of this theorem. The converse of the theorem tells us that the perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord. Now once again, O is the center, AB is a chord and when I join a line perpendicular to the line AB like this and let me mark the point of intersection as C, then AC is equal to CB that is the line OC is bisecting the line or the chord AB. So I can write OC bisects AB and AC is equal to BC. Let's look into an example. Here AB is a chord of the circle with center O. Its midpoint is C. OC is produced and it meets the circle at D and we have to show AD is equal to BD. Let's consider the two triangles ADC and BDC. You can clearly see that AC is equal to CB because C is said to be the midpoint and DC is common to both the triangles. According to the theorem, you can see that the line OC is perpendicular to AB. So we can write ACD angle is equal to BCD. Therefore, the two triangles ADC and BDC are congruent under the case SAS. Therefore, the side AD is equal to the side BD because they are corresponding sides of congruent triangles. And then let's move on to the second example. The second example tells us the vertices ABC of a triangle ABC lie on the circle with center O and then it says OX and OY are perpendicular. Mm, and then AX is equal to CY. We have to prove the angle BAC is equal to BCA angle. So let's consider the triangle ABC. It is given that AX is equal to XB and then CY is equal to BY. Because since OX and OY are perpendiculars, they bisect the two chords. Therefore, we can say bx is equal to by and ab is equal to bc because it is given ax is equal to cy in data. Therefore, we can show that the triangle abc is an isosceles triangle where the side ab and bc are equal to one another. So, we know in a isosceles triangle the angles opposite to equal sides are also equal therefore we can show that BAC angle is equal to BCA angle. Hope I made myself